All right, motorsports fans are making their way to Las Vegas. Many have already arrived in preparation for the first NASCAR playoff race of the year. South Point 400 will be this weekend. That's going to be the highlight. Now, this afternoon, the drivers hit the track to see who's going to be sitting on the pole for that big Sunday race. Each driver taking their turns at the track, trying to race to the front of the pack and win that pole. Kyle Busch had some trouble in the first and second round of qualifying, but in the end, it is the 22 year old Eric Jones who ends up winning the poll. So the grid is now set for Sunday South Point 400. Eric Jones, who is uh, really just a youngster, sits up front. Let's head out to the speedway at the track where Kevin e. Martin uh, watched today's qualifying. Hey, I wondered what would happen if the track was kind of hot and who would be sitting on that pole, Kevin. E. Yeah, Chris, it all comes down to 10 races now that will determine the 28 mon 2018 Monster Energy Cup NASCAR champion. Now, coming into this race, the big three were the big talk. Let's talk Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Busch, and Kevin Harvick. But you can't forget about the dark horse, Eric Jones, and he ended up winning the pool, and he's confident heading into this one. No, I don't mind, um, and I, I don't think it's wrong. You know, I. You look at the three guys who've won all the races this year, and there's only been what two or three guys who've even won multiple races. So, um, I would say there's a, um, I would say there's probably a few dark horses. You know, I don't think we're the only ones. I think the big three are definitely the favorites to get all the way to Homestead. But you know, that last spot needs to be filled, and we're all kind of fighting for it right now. You know, it's uh, there's a few of us trying to get in that spot. Now, speaking of the big three, now they won 17 of the season's first 26 races, but 22-year-old Eric Jones looks pretty tough to beat at this race. Now, he's only 22, and he became the youngest ever to win the poll here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And speaking of youth, now you can see behind me the Champion World Truck Series. Now, they're on the other side of the track now, but I promise you that the race is going on, and 20-year-old we'll, uh, Noah Gragson from Las Vegas is trying to win the checkered flag here for that one. So we're, we'll keep you updated, obviously, on the Camping World Truck Series and then Sunday's race, the four, South Point 400, the first ever playoff here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. For now, live at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Kevin e. Martin, 8 Sports Now. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. E. Jones is his second career poll. Joey Logano second, Danny Hamlin third, and Kyle Busch fourth. His brother Kurt will sit eighth on that grid. It's the trucks tonight, as Kevin e. mentioned. Saturday, Xfinity race, the DC Solar 300, before the big boys roll into the spotlight for Sunday South Point 400. That is the first time a playoff race has been held here. First of ten races to decide a champion. Sixteen drivers here in Vegas looking to advance to the round of 12. Big fight. Friday night, the weigh-in. Yes, it's always big. Triple G, first on the scale. Both fighters weighed in a half a pound under the 160 weight limit for this thing. Canelo was second on the scale. They fought to a draw in their first fight. At today's weigh-in, Canelo Alvarez gets up and close and real personal here. A little pushing and shoving. Nothing to jeopardize the fight, just kind of adds a few extra pay-per-view buys. You know, tomorrow you saw real war. This is not fight, just not regular fight, like special war. Mañana es lo más fácil. Look, I got excited from seeing all the fans. It motivated me to do that right now. And more than anything, you're going to see when I, defe I defeated the way in. Now it's time for me to defeat him on Saturday. All right, we'll see what happens on Saturday night. Hey, it's that time of the year. Crazy to think, from now until possibly June, the Golden Knights will be back in the Las Vegas spotlight. This was the first day of practice for the Golden Knights. All the big names are on the ice. There were some younger players and some other invitees. It gets real now. Probably a few spots up for grabs. Who will play in Vegas and who will bounce back and forth from the, N uh, the AHL club? And who doesn't make the grade? Those are big questions that need to be answered in the next three weeks. The guys who arrived are fitting in perfectly and already feel the chivalry from the other nights. The guys in this room that had done it last year, I don't think they've still gotten the respect that they deserve. So there is still a bit of a, you know, that, uh, that doubt in people's minds from what we've felt and seen, not from people in Vegas, from people outside. And that, you know, allows us to have a, you know, I'm, I feel a part of this group now, so it allows us to have a chip on our shoulder. Um, you know, those guys especially who went through it last year, um, you know, they've mentioned that uh, it's the same exact feeling in the room this year. All right, fun stuff there. Hey, it's always fun when you see the local athletes who made it to the top come back and share their time with their old high school. 
Kind of makes you feel old, though. I remember covering Steven Jackson as a prep football player. Now he's uh, retired from the NFL. Jackson unstoppable as a running back at El Dorado High. The 2001 graduate returned to his alma mater to hype up the Sun Devils during cleat week. Long rivalry they have with Chaparral. Jackson ran for more than 1,100 yards, but still appreciates his roots. Today, the pride of El Dorado High felt right at home. Oh, it was amazing. You know, you never know how many years go by, how you'll be received by the new generation. And you just come out, you think you got to get them hype and, you know, talk to them about the importance of cleat week and rival week. But I mean, these kids get it. I don't know why I did not expect that, but they got it. It brought a lot of excitement. And, man, it was a lot of memories brought back. They set an example for us, for the players. And uh, actually seeing them and, and knowing who he is and knowing what he's done, it, it's an honor to actually be here today and play for the same team he played for. All right, pretty cool. Hey, one of the great, one of the great high school athletes to come out of Las Vegas was Stephen Jackson, big running back. I mean, this guy's huge. Nobody can stop. Impressive. <laughs> we'll be right back.